Hello everyone and welcome to this fast learner video. Today we're going to learn some new skills using our AutoWave 302 admittance meter, including reviewing, printing, saving and transferring data to the PC. We will start with reviewing the last results which have not been stored to the database yet. From the main menu we move to review the last test and confirm the selection by pressing the right key. We will then be shown for which ESI measurements had been stored in the short-term memory. Selecting Center Printer will print the just seen test results with the thermal printer. The next thing we would like to look at is how to store the test data into our 302 database. You will find a keyboard which you can control with the hardware keys to enter the patient's initials. Short presses will allow you to select a letter. Holding the right key for approximately 2 seconds will confirm the letter selection. We will add the initial AMP for Amplivox. After you enter 3 letters, hold the right key down again for a while to confirm the storage. Afterwards, you will be brought back to the process results screen. Just to confirm that everything went fine, we go back to the main menu and enter the database. From here we can access the list of records stored in our 302 unit. And here we also find our just stored Amplibox patient. To send the data over to the PC, we access our TimView module on the computer. Select File and Download from Timpanometer. All measurements that are stored on the unit will now be sent to the computer and stored as an APX file. We use the open function to find our test results on the desktop and open our AMP patient. Et voilà, there is our data. I hope you enjoyed this fast learner video and I would be excited to see you again the next time.